everybody and welcome back to the ARC Audio technical training series on the PS8 and the latest and greatest version of the PS8 software user utility. This is episode number five and we're going to cover how to select the different types of input available on the PS8. If this is your first time joining us, I do recommend though that you go back and watch episodes one through four as there is some extremely valuable information regarding updating, transferring your settings files, uh, setting up the PS8 and much, much more. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and come over and we're going to start up the new version of the PS8 software and we're going to increase the window size here a little bit for you guys and these are the two windows down here in the bottom right hand corner that we're going to be focusing on input select and presets so currently right now we're on preset one and for this system I want to have everything on the RCA input so this gives me six channels of available input all pluggable into the RCA connections whether it's speaker level or whether it's RCA level signal input coming from an aftermarket source radio or if I'm doing some kind of OEM integration system but let's say I don't want to do that and I want to use the auxiliary input I just simply come and click on the button and one thing to remember is that when you're on auxiliary input channels 1 through 4 in the software as far as inputs go do not function. It only gets its source at this point from channels 5 and channel 6. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on input select and now we're going to go ahead and click on preset 2. Now one thing to remember is depending on your computer as well as how many uh, different pieces of software you have running at the same time it may take a second or two for it to populate the information. So in this case we're now on preset 2 and I want to go ahead and click on optical so we're going to use this as preset 2 is the optical connection from the radio uh, or CD player for that matter and one thing to take note of is if you're on any of these digital input style connections optical coaxial or Bluetooth the signal in the software only comes in through channels 1 in channels 2 which in this version of the software on this system I have labeled front left in and front right in which you can name uh, all that in setup just like we covered in the last chapter so we're gonna go over here to preset 3 and for preset 3 we're gonna go ahead and set this up for Bluetooth that way I've got analog on one I got optical for my CD player on preset 2 and now I've got Bluetooth on preset 3 and having Bluetooth on preset 3 at this point the only thing I need to do is sync up my device and look for the name which we will cover and how to change that name in a later menu but just remember this is still a uh, this is still a digital input because it comes in on our spit if input so you still will have to come up to the mixer and make sure that you assign your signal so channel 1 channel 2 these have signal coming into all of my inputs and all of my outputs for these two inputs to the eight outputs and Boom, I'm set. And the nice part about the PS8 is it's automatically saving all this information as I'm doing it, so it's being saved in real time. But that's it. So good luck and good tuning, and we will see you in the next episode.